So what uh, what do you do at the trade shows? Well, we you know we show this last trade show which we did in, in uh, San Francisco was we you know debuted some new products. So okay, so that, what's in the pipeline? Can you can you talk about it? Yeah, I mean we've got some ready to eat meals, uh, three ready to eat meals. Actually, there'll be four, but three that are ready to go. So there'll be like instant meals that'll be oh, you wow. know around calories. Uh, what are so they? One's a Thai tom yum soup. Okay. I love one, soup. Keep coming at me. Yeah. The other one is uh, just a plain spaghetti with tomato sauce, but only 35 calories. Mm. Um, and then we have a Japanese curry. So how hard is it to create the ready-made as opposed to just the noodles? They have to find a whole new source of uh, suppliers and partners and, and the whole bit. It's like entering a, you know, a new business. Yeah, a completely new business. So which one was the hardest out of those three? What was the hardest to source and actually produce? Um, the, uh, well, the Tom Yum and the Curry are, are the same company. Okay. Uh, what's interesting is you, know, you get to meet people you know, as you, you know, are doing, you know, you attract certain businesses yeah. that do things for you. They're health so, conscious. You mean what, like, what, what do you mean you attract? Like, you know, cause I'm in kind of a small niche kind of uh, noodle. So all right. the noodle, all the companies that deal with my noodle, they know who, they know who I am. And I so see. the spaghetti with tomato they sauce, want your business. they came to me and said, look, we can do this. So that one was actually pretty easy. You just had to like take out some of the bad ingredients, you know, cause Obviously, we try to keep it as clean as, as we can. So how many options do they give you? Because you know, a tomato sauce could have, like you said, a slew of ingredients. How do you decide what to keep in and what to subtract out? Well, I tell them what I don't want. Like I don't want any seed oils like sunflower, safflower oil, only, only olive oil, you know, no MSG, um, you know, those sorts of things that are like things that I just don't want in any of my products. So then they send me samples and we... You know, one of them had, as an example, like um, yeast extract, which some people think is very much similar to MSG. So we took it out and really tasted not that good after we took it out. <laughs> they came back and they said, well, we'll add a lot more on onions and garlic. And so they added a lot more onions and garlic and it actually came which out Which is fine. much healthier for you anyways. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, that bad stuff tastes good. We need to add... It MSG really does make things taste better. I mean, it's it's, it's the truth. It yeah. just... So what was the biggest thing from the last trip to China, Japan? What was the, the highlight uh, for you from a business standpoint? You know, I had a little bit of a, oh, I guess you could say a little bit of a bias um, uh, against dealing with China for anything. Um, and that was a premature bias based on news reports and such. And right. so I got to see a few factors. Because it's had a bad rap, you mean? Or? Yeah, exactly. And also, you know, the noodle is kind of a Japanese product, so I try to keep keep it, you know, respect. Authentic. And such, exactly. I gotcha. So, but after going to China, meeting with business owners and such, and seeing the country, you know, I feel a lot more comfortable, you know, if I choose to do some, some business with them, right. you know, that, that it should be okay. So is there a fear from working with other, these companies that work with other noodles that there's any like competitive, you know, intel or anything uh, that things get passed along to other companies? How do, yeah. yeah, I mean, I've had that happen where I've come up with an idea at my end and the person that helped me uh, come up with that product then sold it to someone else. That was a- uh, Really? That was, yeah. Wow. I mean, now now there's multiple. It's like a worst nightmare, right? It's like you. It was yeah. It was poor poor business uh, etiquette for sure. <laughs> poor. You're, you're very. <laughs> that's putting it lightly. So yeah. what's how do you prevent that? Is just do you have them sign something, or that yeah. doesn't even matter? You know, if they sign it, they could still do it. Now, no. Now, if I come up with an, with something that I consider to be innovative, I, I you know have them sign sign off on it that they won't give it to anyone else. Yeah.
Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, now Dr. Jonathan Karp, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the Scubana e-commerce mastery series, where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. Scubana is a software platform to manage your entire e-commerce operation. Thank you, big thank you to Kevin Thompson for introducing me to the next awesome guest and his great products, which I have actually purchased and do eat. We have Dr. Jonathan Karp, founder of The Miracle Noodle, and he founded it after visiting a friend in Japan. The Miracle Noodles have zero calories and zero net carbs. I did not believe it, Jonathan, until I actually looked at the package and tried it. I'm like, how is this possible? Which you'll talk about. And the company has sold millions of packs of noodles worldwide. They've been featured on Dr. Oz, Rachel Ray, all over the news and media. Dr. Karp, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. You know, since this is the Scubana e-commerce mastery series, I always ask, um, what's been the lowest point in the business for you? And then what's been the proudest moment? Um, so what's been one of the lower moments? You know, because I know it's not always easy, even though... You were featured on, you know, Rachel Ray, Dr. Oz, all those. What has been the most challenging? Probably when, when you know, that initial supplier, when that supplier was just unable to fulfill, and I had basically close to a month of, of customers that we had to refund, and mm. I had to communicate with these people. That was probably, that was horrible, really horrible. Yeah. And especially because it was the beginning of the business, and, you know, you're trying to, be as good about customer service as you can and it's difficult in the beginning yeah so i think everyone should realize that as you start a business it's difficult in the beginning to to get those sorts of details correct yeah so that was probably that was probably the most that's a good problem to have but yeah it is painful when you have customers who want what you have and you can't fulfill on it how do you handle that that communication were you able to salvage any of those people you know to actually uh, at that time, I didn't know how to to do it, and and uh, you know as you know actually when I was talking to Kevin Thompson, a, a friend, mutual friend, obviously, I, I had a, a problem with just recently with uh, the meals. There's been a delay with the meals. Mm. I mentioned it to Kevin and some of his friends, and he and they all said, you know, this is an opportunity for you to te- to communicate how great your business is and how unique it is because yeah. of, this, of this. And so yesterday I'd sent out an email because it's like a six month delay on these meals. Yeah. And I had to send out an email to people saying that, you know, we're, we're delayed and, and I tried to turn it around the best I can. And amazingly, I got so many incredible responses from people like just, you know, it's okay. You know, I love your company. Thank you for mm. the bonuses. What and did so, you, yeah. So what did you say in the email? I said that, you know, I, I was honest. I'm a doctor, and you, you all guys all know that I'm a doctor, and I, I've been thrust into this business, you know, and I'm happy about having this business, but I underestimated the time to source new product to make sure it fits our health principles right, and, right. you know, vet all these. The quality people. standards. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And the forms that are required for, you know, some of these are made in Thailand, so there's a whole oh other God. type I'm getting a headache thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> so and and the, you know we had a couple refunds, but it was worked out okay. It's an opportunity. Yeah, I love that. What about the proudest? I know we talked about Steve Lombardo. Um, yeah. What's been another proud moment for you in the company? Um, I th- I think it's I think like you said I think it's mostly getting those particular emails and then actually when we we decided to put them all into one book mm-hmm. and then holding a book this book that's you know probably 65 70 pages oh, really? filled with just all of these amazing un- completely unsolicited emails yeah. uh, oh I can tell you one really yeah. amazing story I was on a plane um, coming from a trade show actually my mother was with me and she was. She talks to. She's made business contacts. Get your mom on here. No. <laughs> <laughs> she's talking to a, a, a guy next to next to her, and he said, "Oh, what do you do?" And um, and he said, "I know your product." He said, "My son has a seizure disorder, and we use the noodles because he's on a ketogenic diet, which oh. is a diet where you know you're incredibly low low ca- low carbs, so yeah. that the person's in a ketogenic state, and." It's been a lifesaver for us because he used to feel so 
bad about not being able to have noodles and yeah, rice. Right. And, and it makes him feel like he's a real You're kid. You're like deprived. Have, yeah. Like Mac, he can have mac and cheese with our, with our ziti. And he's like, and so that was, that was, I mean, the fact that it happened just spontaneously, yeah. I mean, that of course made me feel, yeah. made me feel right. Yeah. So. There should be in diabetic clinics or other clinics all over the nation, you know, Dr. Krupp, I really appreciate your time. I know you have a meeting right now. People should check out MiracleNoodle.com. Where else should people check out online? Uh, well, we're going to be starting Miracle Natural Foods. That's kind of when the Shopify site goes live because okay. we'll be selling some other. And then, of course, I started a blog at drkarp.com okay. um, for some of the health education that, that we're going to be doing very soon. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's Thank been a you. pleasure. That's... A lot yeah. of fun. I, I really, if we had more time, I would, it would be like phone a friend and we'll call it, we would conference in your mom right now and record it. But that would be. <laughs> maybe another, maybe another day. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you Dr. Carpenter.